In this Excel video, I will show you how to use the Excel wrap rows and wrap calls functions. Let's get started. So these are relatively new functions, wrap rows and wrap calls. And of course, wrap calls refers to wrap columns. And these can be very handy functions. Let's take a look. So here I have some information about some fictional employees. But you can see the data is arranged in a way that's not very helpful. We have their names in a row. In the same row, we have the hire date for each employee and their employee number. This is not how I want this data organized. So let's fix it by using the wrap rows and wrap calls functions. I'm going to click on cell B6, type equals wrap rows left parenthesis, and that I'm supposed to select the vector or range of cells. So I'll click and drag to highlight the range of data. I'll put in a comma. Next, wrap count. I would like to wrap this information after Regenia Loftus, right here, after cell D2. So that's three cells in, so I'll just put in three. And then I could put in more information, but I'm just going to close my formula. I'll put in my right parenthesis, tap Enter on the keyboard, and this information is now wrapped in rows, just like I wanted it to be wrapped. Now we can see the employees here, the hire dates, and the E numbers. Now, of course, the dates don't look like dates. What's wrong with these numbers? Well, it's all about number formatting. So I'm going to click and drag to highlight that range of dates, and then I'll go up to the Home tab in the Number group. I'll switch it from General to Short Date, and it fixes it. Now I can see that those yes are dates. Now let's try wrap calls. I'll click here on B11 equals wrap calls, left parenthesis. I'll select the vector or range, put in my comma. Again, I want the wrap count to be three. So I'll put in a three, right parenthesis, tap enter, and my data is now wrapped, but in columns, not in rows. Again, my higher dates are messed up, so I'll click and drag to highlight the range. On the home ribbon, number group, I'll switch it to short date. So I hope you can see some of the potential of the wrap rows and wrap calls functions. And if you've got some creative ways or interesting ways that you could use these two functions, please leave comments in the description below the video and share these ideas with our community. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could also support by clicking the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I really want to say thank you to my fantastic super techie channel supporters. Without you, I could not keep doing this. So thank you so much for all of your support.